Hi everybody, I hope you're well. Today I will read from a book titled The Real Life Brussels Transforming and Renovating Aging Social Housing, published by Spector. Rolf Fallon wrote, Like many other cities in Europe, Brussels, following the significant expansion of social housing in the second half of the 20th century, now faces the challenge of managing the decline of this extensive heritage amid increasing budgetary constraints. This dual challenge is part of a broader entanglement of issues. The energy transition advocating addressing environmental and climatic urgencies raises many questions about the architectural, typological and technological nature of these buildings. The communities residing in these sites have evolved substantially, requiring new qualities and conditions. Concepts gaining traction such as circular economy, waste limitation, grey energy and the externalities of construction sites have gradually shifted attitudes from favoring demolition and replacement to a transformative approach based on the observation of the existing. The inhabited status of most sites significantly influences both design and realization processes. The experimental materials and prefabrication methods of the 20th century present many challenges to architects and constructors involved in renovating and transforming them. Evolving views on urban development, particularly the role of monofunctional residential complexes in cities embracing diversity and appropriation, require adapted architectural strategies and it is impossible to conclude this necessarily incomplete introduction without mentioning the enduring love-hate relationship with this recent heritage, not yet protected by regulation. Over the past decade, the Brussels Regional Housing Company and the Brussels Government Architect have spearheaded a series of competitions aimed at renovating and transforming social housing complexes as opposed to demolishing and rebuilding them. Between 2021 and 2024, the KU Leuven Faculty of Architecture joined this dialogue, encouraging master's students to delve into these tenders through design studios and master's dissertation studios. This approach fostered interactions among architects, students and other stakeholders proposing imaginative design strategies and architectural qualities less constrained by the professional context while rooted in a heightened sense of reality. In this context, SIVA collaborated with KU Leuven and BMA to organize a series of three talks in 2022 hosted at various locations. This book stands as the culmination of these initiatives. It does not offer ready-made solutions for renovating social housing buildings, nor does it claim to provide an exhaustive survey of the sector's intricacies. Carefully avoiding the portrayal of hypothetical exemplars of perfection, the book acknowledges the inevitably incomplete nature of its endeavor. It highlights the layering and present-day urgency of this topic by presenting an array of projects, experiments, reflections, debates, studies and surveys. Its varied content, both visual and textual, serves as a homage to the subject's complex and multifaceted nature. Orfe Grandom and Ismael Benami, as editorial and layout designers, have integrated these diverse contents in a manner akin to how reality interweaves and articulates various elements into a cohesive whole. To achieve this, they have employed a format reminiscent of a city guide. This format, while avoiding oversimplification or singularity, enables readers to navigate the subject autonomously and chart their own path through it. Ask for the book at your local bookstore. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.